Back to the 9 a.m. We're all getting ready for that big eclipse, and you're going to want to preserve that moment. You want pictures. Well, can you do it safely on your phone? Sarah Morgan joining us from AT&T. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me today. I appreciate it. Hey, our pleasure. So a lot of people are thinking, man, I want to get these pictures. I always get my pictures on my phone. How do I do that for an eclipse? Well, that's a great question. You know, NASA tells us it's better safe than sorry when using our phones. Yes. We don't want to ruin our phones, right? Right. They're very expensive. So you can go online and get one of these nifty little photo filters and you just put it over the photo lens on your phone and then you can hold it up to the eclipse and safely take pictures of it without ruining your phone. And your eyes, right? Yes, and your eyes. You don't want to look directly at it. So if people don't have one of these, don't don't use your phone to look at the at the at the We don't eclipse. recommend it, right. but you know, the photo filter, it, you'll get it quick, and it's online. It's only $10, so super easy and nifty to use. And that, and that will work on any phone? On any phone, and it's best to practice. So, you know, on Monday, we just had a full moon, so the moon is really large right now still. Yes. So I, we recommend practicing by holding up the phone with the filter and just practice tapping on the moon to focus, uh, to focus on it. And then you can drag your filter or your, figure, your finger up and down to adjust the exposure and the lighting so you can get that perfect shot because you just have one chance. Yeah, it's, it's a one shot deal. So you wanna let me try see it? it? So, okay, so I just take it like this. Let me get my camera on. And then you can see on the front it says this side faces the sun. So you wanna make sure you have it the right direction. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put it right over right here. Right over your camera. Okay. And so if I wanna focus, if I see the sun, I'm gonna use that light. Yep, and you'll just tap on it to focus. Mm -hmm. And then with your finger on the screen, you can drag your finger up and down to adjust the lighting. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And that'll help you get that perfect shot. That is nice. It's got a great shot of our light <laughs> <laughs> in the studio. So if, if, what kind of damage could be done to the phone if you don't use a filter like that? Well, you could ruin the lighting on your phone, meaning that in, in future pictures, you might just not get that, the lighting just right on your phone. Right. So you definitely want to use it and not ruin the lens on your camera. Yeah, and for folks who've never even worked on that exposure before, that's a great tip on telling them. Yeah, it. it works perfect. You yeah. just hold it and drag up and down. There you go. There you go. And you don't want to ruin your phone. Again, how can you get these? You can get them online at any retailer that sells them and they'll ship them right to you. I love that. 10 bucks? Yes. 10 bucks. There you go. 10 bucks so that you can preserve those pictures from the monumental eclipse that is coming our way. Thank you so much, Sarah. Yeah, thank you for having me. Hey, keep it right here. More coming your way. It's the 9 a.m.